Hey everybody, Jem Schofield of the C47 and another episode of Gearbox 2.0. And in this episode, I'm gonna show you around some of my favorite places at the flagship location of B&H between 33rd and 34th Street and 9th Avenue. So let's get started. Okay, so right now we are in probably my favorite place in B&H Photo, and I have been coming to this counter for years and years and years. And actually, I've been coming to B&H since before it was here at the flagship store when my wife was a student at School of Visual Arts. It was a very different experience back then, but this area became sort of an explosion of activity and still is when it comes to the used lens market. I have right here, in fact, um, I was really happy because when I came up to the counter today, uh, Chris was here at the counter and he's the person I always dealt with. I have in front of me an Olympus Zuko. This is a 70 to 150 F4 constant aperture lens. Of course, it doesn't have IS, but it is silky smooth. I looked at it, it's a clean copy. There's no mold or anything like that. It just needs a little brush off. And this is a pretty amazing little full frame lens that you can easily adapt to a DSLR or a mirrorless system. And guess how much this lens is? $34.95. So this is the beauty. Now, I talked to Chris and he said that this market is still really hot. So unless you are looking for something a little more obscure like these Olympus Zucos, in fact, if you can find them, I have a 55 F1.2, which is super soft when wide open, but it's a really beautiful lens. And I have a bunch of other Olympus Zuko lenses. Um, if you're looking for some of the more popular ones, you might not find them, but you come in here and find some Nikon lenses and things like that, you can really give your camera system an awesome look and feel. So besides that used lens department and the used department as a whole, the other place that I probably spend the most amount of time in B&H is right here, not surprisingly, in the lighting department. And for some reason, there's a sky panel right here. So we're gonna use that for this little segment or at least this little part. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop inside of the department with you and see if we can find some cool stuff. Okay, boys and girls, it's pretty loud in here, but now we are inside the pit, the lighting pit at B&H. And, &H. and uh, you know, what's really great about coming in here is that it is really difficult to get your hands on all of these different fixtures and they get them as soon as they come to market. In fact, this is not just to market, but one of my favorite lighting solutions out there are dado lights or dado lights, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. Um, this is their LED solution, and it has that incredible lensing system that Dato has a patent on. And this is color tunable. Um, I still have three 150s that are tungsten, and I love those lights. Um, these are great little lights. I wish they had a better price point in this country. And then you can adapt them using all of those old Dato adapters. Um, this is an 85 millimeter lens and you can basically put gobos in here, drop them in. Um, it's a great lighting solution for a lot of things like specials and you want those hard kickers. So this is really, really cool. Okay, second light we're gonna talk about is this right here. It's relatively brand new. It is part of the Luxley line. So you now have the Viola, the five inch. You have the Cello, the 10 inch light. And now we have the timpani, which is the biggest light that they now have in their product line. And this is a one by one. Uh, this is RGB LED technology, and it's pretty impressive. This is under $1,000 US, and output is really good. Um, TLCI, CRI, very high. I was very happy with the overall functionality. Plus minus green. You have correlated color temperature mode. You have a mode here, which is pretty typical now, where you can dial in your hue, 360 degree hue wheel, and then how much of that is being saturated into white light. And then we have gels and you have special effects and all the stuff that we expect out of these new RGB fixtures. Um, pretty impressive light. The yoke 
it's kind of garbage right now, but I've heard a uh, rumor from the source that it's being improved. But other than that, I'm actually very impressed with this light. Uh, V-mount locked battery to power it. And you'll be hearing more about the timpani and the entire Luxly line, even though I've done content on it in the past. Uh, because this is in the house, so we can talk about that some more in a different episode. And then I'm just going to show you one more thing in the lighting department, and we're going to head upstairs. Okay, last one we're going to look at today in the lighting department. Um, last week I did an episode on the Flex Cine system from Westcott. In fact, I'm heading upstairs in a few minutes to do a two-hour presentation on this. But the one thing that I couldn't show you were some of the new modifiers in the line. This actually is a grid that just pops right onto their Scrim Gym Cine frame, which is pretty awesome. Over there, we have a softbox with a grid system. And then to my right here, and here we are, we've got this barn door system here with a grid. So pretty impressive. They've really built out the whole line. And I'm excited to start using some of these modifiers with the Flex Cine system. All right, last step on the tour, unfortunately, because I have to go over to B&H's event space on the second floor, which is where we are right now, and go set up for my event workshop, whatever you want to call it. Next two hours, I'm going to be talking about production and lighting. There's going to be a model in there. It's going to be fun. Flex in the RGB lights. We're going to be doing a bunch of stuff. Now, you would think the last favorite place I would take you to would be the video camera department. It is not. It is actually the stills department, where you can probably get your hands on more camera systems, DSLRs, mirrorless, than anywhere else in the country. You go to Japan, it's a whole different story. But here, in terms of cameras and lenses and support and bags, it's redonkulous here in this particular section of the store. So I do encourage you, when you get to B&H, make a beeline to the second floor, check out the used department, get over here to this camera department, then go back downstairs to lighting, and then if you want, you can go check out all the other stuff. Televisions, VR, of course, they have an amazing audio department, and they do have a big video department as well. And that's it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel below the fold or use that little logo down there. And I'll see you guys next time on Gearbox.